You I, start putting hot sauces in your drinks? I've, I, I have, I have issues, I know. Uh, you have been on the channel a lot recently, and thank you very, very much for that. I'm putting in my two weeks. Please don't do that. Um, today, we are gonna be trying some sauces from a very, very kind person who watches my channels, and my chan- well, I guess maybe channels, but ch at least channel. Uh, this fine viewer of my channel sent me a huge box of all hot sauces from Utah, and this is one of the brands that are in here, because some of these look really, really tasty, and I think that the texture these, of these are going to be this, crazy. This is either going to be the best texture I've ever had in my life, or or not. I guess it's not the worst. There's no way it's the worst. I, I agree. There's but it looks, looks it. Look at that. I know, man. These seem super interesting. So these, uh, for one of the gnarlier names of a hot sauce company I've, I've come across recently, this is from Tongue Spank. Tongue Spank Spice Company. Tongue from S and M from Lehigh, Utah. So we have three sauces, and all of them sound like super unique and interesting. So these could this, be super tasty. This one's gonna bite. Serrano Margarita. I have not looked at the ingredients in any of these, by the way, so I don't I, really know exactly what defines the margarita version of this. You know, there are things that you shouldn't name your sauce. And I think that's one of them because that's just gonna make people want a margarita. Dude, I know. Like just saying that, you're like, dude, I'm getting margaritas tonight. Well, get get a Serrano muddled. I, I I might bring that with me. Uh, smoky bourbon chipotle. You would put that in your drink? Like the actual sauce? I put hot sauces in my drink before. Some sauces are made for cocktails. That's when you know. That's when you know you have a problem. You I, start putting hot sauces in your drinks? I've, I, I have, I have, I have issues, I know. I, I, I feel like the therapist would be like, let's talk about that first. <laughs> you put a hot sauce in your, in your water now? And coconut, ghost pepper, and spiced rum. This sounds... Awesome with a question mark. I really want it to be awesome. Yeah, like this is the this is the one All right, uh, I feel like that's the most exciting looking one too. Yes name looking texture uh, This is gonna be the last one. So it's gonna be the hottest clearly it's ghost pepper So I think we're, we're gonna go this is the route we're going is this barrel. I hope this is like somehow barrel aged. Well, yeah It even says it too. That's medium. That's hot and that's very hot. That's very true uh, I love it when sauce companies do that mm -hmm. where they have like this is what you're getting into written right on the side of the bottle I love that. I love just like Literalness. Don't surprise me, okay? If I want a surprise, I'll I'll buy a a beanie baby. Just tell me what you're doing in a clean, concise way. Okay. Anyways, Tongue Spank Spice Company Serrano Margarita. Uh, this bright and citrus-packed sauce is a quick blast of heat, followed by fresh lime and small batch batch and small batch agave liquor. Oh, interesting. Uh, so green Serrano chilies, fresh lime vinegar, agave liquor. Uh, sugar and salt. Does it get cooked out? Yeah, it gets cooked out. Okay. Um, I mean, look, can, I, can I see the... Uh, so this is... This is the very first batch of this ever existing, too. That is true. This is batch one. That one, other one says batch three. I know. So, it must, so be, it must be a new sauce. Or a new company, one of the two. Yeah, or he just got this from the back of the shelf. I doubt that was the case. Aged I hope that wasn't the case. appropriately to spank your tongue. Um, so this is going to be his take on a Verde, basically. Verde. I don't, Verdes don't have to have tomatillos in it, but they, they generally do know. have tomatillos. This has got green serranos, fresh lime, the vinegar, the agave. So there's going to be like... I, in the law class, I slept through the Verde class. Did, you did? Yeah. In um, school, whatever. Wow. It smells super bright and vibrant. Bright. Yeah, bright, like... Uh, Upbeat. You know what I'm saying? It, exactly. Bright. Upbeat. Um, I, I, every Honestly, time I, it, it has... Is that just the lime? It kind of smells like a margarita mix. Yeah. Like it smells like a sauce. Mm -hmm. But then you get a, like, you actually kind of smell the margarita mix in it. I th I, I, the lime, like. That might yeah. be great for a drink. You yeah. know what? Maybe you're not crazy to pour it into your drink. No, I'm not. The uh, guy, like, the, like break, get your spoon, man. Break down all the ingredients. Get your spoon, man. Where, well, I can, Sorry. I can get it. I just wouldn't, didn't. Like... Okay, so. Can I, can I, since I'm, uh, since I'm your most recurring guest right now, can you give me a smaller wooden spoon? I don't have a small. Are you a big spoon type dude? Like not like lying down wise. Like, you know when you like eat a bowl of soup, do you get a big, or do you just get like a? Like, I, I think everyone knows like the best spoon in their house. No, but do, are you a big? You know, there's there's the normal size spoons and there's big spoons. Normal size spoons. I'm like a medium. I'm like a medium size spoon guy. Like I'm an appropriate size spoon guy. It's smaller than this. I'll tell you that. I mean, there's there's. We'll argue about it later. Wait, or okay. We'll, we'll discuss it later. This is a, it's a very thin sauce. You actually kind of have to be like, this is like a first for my sauces on my channel. Like you have to be kind of aggressive with the pour, but not too aggressive because it's so, it's, like. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was. Everything needs, because everything is such in such suspension. You know what I'm saying? 
It's a light bodied situation. Yes. Uh, lots, lots floating in it, though. Yeah, it's, it's about to spill. Exactly. Everywhere. Go, 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 go. It's literally tasting a margarita. There are margarita vibes going on in this. For sure. That's so weird. It's like a Serrano margarita. It but would literally make your taco taste like it's a margarita. I know, but there, it, you, there's clearly the lack of alcohol. Like, I'm not... Right. Yeah, you're not like, you're gonna like... You know, like, but there is all the margarita, like, vibes happening here. Dude. A little bit of, like, light heat. I'm, can I buy that online? <laughs> no, I'm right. getting that and take it home. Like, that is... That would be so good on tacos. It'd be so good. Right, I'm gonna sell some this bottle with you, actually. Like a street taco? Yeah, dude. Dude. Yeah. Like, wow. Little, a little, little tiny street taco? You can't, take, you can't send that with me because then you can't take it to wherever you're going tonight. Dude. This is... That's good. That is delicious. Like I said, bright, vibrant. I say, you know, every time I, I have a Verde on my channel, I always talk about how you need to have, like, Verdes need to have something, like, they need, like, a salt or something. Like, a lot of times they can be very boring. If they're not boring, they're, I mean, and if they're boring, they're freaking boring. Like, there has to be something, a twist going on with the, with the green like sauce the normal and the Verde. Verde comes, comes across earthy. And that, it's, does, it's, that does not. Exactly. Well, they're earthy and they're just, like, that's like, I think they're boring in my in my regard. But, no, I, but if I, somebody I, does something cool to a Verde, it elevates it yeah. to such a higher level. And this is something that does that. I've never had like a, a Verde that's like bad because like I like the sauce. So it's usually it's like they're just similar and I like them. Mm -hmm. But the, it does take a special one to stand out. Yes, absolutely. Um, that being said, that one there's that's heavy vinegar and lime. Yes, in a good way. Yes, I mean I'm and I, fresh tasting. Yeah, I, I mean I love lime and that tang in my sauces. Mm -hmm. So this is imp impressed. Wow, that's very good. Okay. Like Moving on, smoky bourbon chipotle. Um, looks like barbecue sauce. Featuring smoked jalapenos with cayenne and habanero chilies, this premium smoky sauce has a hot and smoky balanced flavor with serious bite. Ingredients are chipotle, which are smoked jalapenos, habanero and cayenne chilies, garlic, onion, vinegar, lime, bourbon, pepper, and salt. So this is the second ingredient one in a row that has that doesn't have that has uh, some alcohol, alcohol in it. Yeah. It's a bit cooked out, but I, dude, that adds a lot. I'm into it. What are, what are they doing in Utah? All right, so batch number nine, smoky bourbon chipotle. This is uh, this dude. This might be the, this is probably even more mild than the first one. Well, actually, no. He's saying that this it is this is hot. You're right. But that wasn't that wasn't medium. That was medium hot. So right. I, they're they but but they could. Oh, be well, in the this has got the it's got the habaneros though. Yes. Which honestly, I just had two Carolina Carolina Reaper pretzels before this, and I'm getting to the bottom of the barrel on those, so they're hot. Oh yeah, man. This one is another thin-bodied sauce, but t dude, like I poured a chunk out. Like you're gonna see this. It's, oh, I got a chunk too. There's no like stabilizers. There's no xanthan gum. There's no like. Is that why like, it's lighter bodied? Yeah, that's because it's 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 just at real ingredients. They're just in suspension. So you have to like shake it up and then like pour it pretty quickly. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All right, go. Whoa, Tang. I do like the lighter. What's that? Is that just vinegar that I'm getting there, or? Hold on, the lime again, lime man. It's almost like these are like, serve as like a reduction. Yes. Does that make sense? Like they need to be. You're saying that they need to be reduced further? No, I mean I'm just saying like, like when when dishes are topped with like a whatever type of reduction, I just feel like that would be used utilized in that rather than in a sense of hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Just by the body alone. I yeah, absolutely. So you're talking about like take your meat or something like that and like use this in that and then reduce yes. that into one like flavorful thing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I can, I think that like so far these two first two sauces would be great as like like a, like to soak something. Yeah, you like used in cooking. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like absolutely. Like I think this would work great as a marinade. Like you get some like carnitas or something like that and like pull it and get it, you know, get it with this in a pan, you know, and then use that to make your tacos like unbelievable. I guess it'd be the same thing with like big fatty pieces of pork or beef or something. Tremendous to cook it in that. Yeah, tremendous. It'd be so good. Um, you need a lot of that to keep using it. Yeah, I mean, smoky, chipotle-y. Um, yeah. I'm going to say... I, mean, I, was, I thought it was going to be... The smoky is like all in the after, is in the latter end of it. I got it like... I got Honestly, I got it all throughout the entire thing. I don't entire know. And maybe it's because the body is so... Like the texture and the body is so like unique that I'm only focusing on that. Mm -hmm. And then as I start to like process the flavors, like the, the things that left over are definitely the smokiness. Yeah, absolutely. I fully agree. Um, I'm not gonna say this is more like mild on um, like, it's it's definitely hotter than the first sauce, but it's still like on the like the mild uh, version for me. Like it's got habaneros, but they're not hitting like habaneros. Like I'm not getting the sting. Like, no. I'm getting a little bit of burn, but it's like back of the throat kind of burn. It's a good, it's a you know? good heat. Well, it's like, great heat. It's, it's like, a great, very approachable, yeah. very, very good heat. Okay, now this is the one that I'm most intrigued by. 
Honestly, I've built up like I'm my body and throat and everything is kind of hot right now. And this is a full bodied sauce, which is going to be I'm this is cool. I like when hot sauce companies like play with textures in their sauces where they're all not like the same body. Um Okay, so very hot, he says. Habanero and ghost chilies create a mountain of heat with sweetness on one side and oh, savory I'm, deliciousness I'm sweating on, my on the other. A hint of rum sweetness combined with the extreme heat of the Naga Jilokia. That's a ghost pepper? Yeah. Um, Pretty epic actual name for it. Uh, no, the Naga Jilokia, it's a, it's a different version of the... of the uh, Boot Jilokia is a ghost pepper, so Naga is a different version oh, of a really? ghost pepper. So... Um, habaneros, ghost chili, sugar, coconut, paprika, garlic, onion, black pepper, vinegar, rum, salt. So he's got an alcohol with all the sauces. Maybe that might, maybe that's might be a stick. So I mean, before I even pour it, it's extremely full-bodied sauce. But is it gonna pour? It's still porous, which is amazing. I hate sauces that don't pour. Is that's a thing for me? That one you gave me, it kind of has that. Okay. Um, that is so much. Like, unbelievably full body. It looks like soup. I know. That's the coconut, man. Dude, I hope that... Dude, I'm I'm really excited for this sauce. I'm doing a baby amount. That's fine. You don't have to do a lot. So habaneros and ghost chilies are the, the first and second ingredient. That smells potent. And then sugar, coconut. Coconut is the... F it, I can ingredient. smell the coconut. Dude, absolutely. Sugar's the third ingredient. This is gonna be some sweet, this is having some sweet, some sweet smoky. This is gonna be a weird sauce. But he was saying, okay, hold on. I also make sure that the, okay, mountain of heat with sweetness on one side and savory deliciousness on the other. So, so it's gonna sweet, don't do that. S don't hook me. What? Like the movie Hook? It's o, o Rufio. I know, don't, yeah. o, don't o Rufio me. All right, here we go. Cheers, people. Holy coconut. Sauce has a chew to it. Shrimp. It'd be so good with shrimp. I'm just, the heat is like a snake in this. Oh yeah, it keeps, it's coming, 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 coming. What a weird- Your mouth has to be hot because like, <coughs> it's hot. What a weirdly awesome sauce. It's, it's fantastic, it's like, a, it's an adventure. This is, yes, exactly, an adventure is a great way to put this. Yeah. This is a, so weird, so awesome sauce. I've never had a sauce like this in my life. So I don't know how you'd use it though. Dude, shrimp, fish, for sure. You think? That's, I would never want something sweet on my shrimp. I, it, absolutely. I can see it on fish. I can see it on fish though. Shrimp, like a glaze? I was thinking on like cheesecake, but I was like, it's honestly, it would. Pro well, maybe the cheesecake could balance out the heat a little bit. It might I mean, be great. It's too savory for cheesecake, in my opinion. Like, it's, it's my bite was like ninety percent coconut, so it was like really sweet and. And then, I, honestly, the, the heat's kind of beautiful because it's hot, but it's not it's not like aggressive in your mm -hmm. mouth as much as I was. Sure, you know, I would, dude, I would serve this like with like 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 co like like a cocktail sauce, like with cold shrimp. Like I would eat this on shrimp all day long. I would dude, eat, you'd this. eat one, and you'd be like dying. I wouldn't be, um, <laughs> but um, it's hot. Um, I, you could brush this on salmon or something like that. Yeah, like fishes, that'd, awesome. that'd be fantastic. Fish tacos. Um, I'm trying to think of other applications for this. Um, this is definitely like a topping sauce because it's so yeah. thick. This is gonna like really stick to the food. It'd be good to try like on a YouTube video. It would be good to you to try on a YouTube video. Perfect yeah. for that. Um, wow. Okay. This one is all three of these are very cool sauces, but this one is this is my favorite by for sure. Yeah. Like it's only truly oh, special. Oh, that's the green one, dude. You think was, so? Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so wow, this one is like drinking a like it's basically it's like drinking a margarita. Like it I've really, never it really is. I've never had a Verde like it. Um, very, very, very cool. Like smoky, I think that was the bourbon, best. chipotle. The heat level in that was perfect. Perfect heat level. And this one is like nothing I've ever had in my life. Like it so is. weirdly complex. Yeah. So good. Sweet. That's a hot, special one. Savory. Special. Uh, thank you to Andy for joining. Um, well, in, in, the, in the description below is going to be a link to our gaming channel. Like there is every time Andy's on the on the channel yeah. now. When does this go up? This goes up Sunday. Then human fall flat just went up. We the trials rising yesterday. We just uploaded a trials rising video yesterday, mm -hmm. which is like a motorcycle game. So it's very fun. It's fun. Check it out. I sucked um, at it. I was okay. I was fine. You're, you're pretty good at it. I was fine. Um, regardless, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos uh, from now on. I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to. Oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.